Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're here, chances are you're dealing with a frustrating problem that many model railroaders face, locomotive derailments. Whether it be on straight track curves or switches, it doesn't really matter. Derailments takes the fun out of running your trains. But don't worry everybody, we got 20 possible solutions here that are going to help you get your trains running smoothly again. Now this list is a bit special. See, it's not just from my own experience, but also from my friends in the hobby, and most importantly, you, the viewers. See, with the success of the first video, I got tons of suggestions and feedback. And what I did is I compiled a list of the best ones of all those for a more comprehensive list of 20 solutions that we're going to bring to you right now. Stick around. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. All right, so what we did is we took the list of 10 from the first video and we combined it into eight because a couple were a little repetitious. Also, I took Hooked on Phonics to improve my spelling from the first video. And then what we did is we took all of the suggestions from the viewers, as well as my friends in the hobby and myself, and we compiled it into a list of 20, and we, and we hope to have it sequenced in a sensible order for you. Let's get to it right now. All right, so number one, if you still have cars behind your loco, we want you to remove the cars from the loco. Let's let the loco go around by itself and see if you derail or not. Number two, number two a great suggestion and a tip from a viewer. If the derailment is happening in a specific place, it is the track. If the derailment is happening in multiple places, it is most likely the low cut. Number three, you wanna check for any dirt or debris on the track where the train is derailing. Number four, prior to where the train is derailing, look back and make sure you don't have any track nails that popped up or any adhesive on the track anywhere. Number five, you want to make sure in the area where the loco is derailing that you don't have any obstacles near the track that the train could be hitting as it's coming around. Sometimes looks can fool you on that one. Number six, you want to check the turn radius on the truck to make sure that the truck is not hitting the body when you're making a turn. Number seven, you want to make sure that your wheels are snapped completely into the axles all the way. That'll cause a derailment if they're not all the way in there. You should hear a little snap at the end. Number eight, check and make sure that the wheels on the car or the locomotive that's derailing are the same size and or the right size for your track. Number nine, you need to check for gaps or kinks in the track where the locomotive's derailing. Number 10, depending upon where your layout is, you're going to have to consider temperature fluctuations that could be causing these derailments. Your track could be expanding and contracting some. Number 11, you want to check the rail height at connections. You want to look for dips or anything like that, etc. Number 12, check the rail joiners near where the derailment's going to happen. Make sure they're in there correct and straight. That could be causing a problem there. Loose. Number 13, check the rail ties near where the derailment is happening and make sure none of them have come loose. Number 14, if you have any turnouts near where the locomotive is derailing, what you want to do is make sure that you're not throwing any flanges off on that turnout. You're going to have to look down real close and make sure when the car goes through the turnout that you're not throwing a flange off right before that. Then when you hit the next turn, the car will certainly derail. Numbers 15 through 18, you need to use one of these NRMA gauges to check your wheel width, the trip pin, the couplers, and the track width. Number 19, if you're still having derailment issues, you need to get down there with a mini level where that train is derailing and make sure that your track is level. And last but not least, if you've been all the way through the list and your train is still derailing, I'm going to get you to check the bench work that is under the train where your train is derailing. And I want you to check and make sure that it's flat and sturdy and stable and you don't have any wobbles like that. That could certainly cause a derailment right there. Thanks for joining me today as we explored these 20 solutions for locomotive derailments. We hope you found some tips and tricks that'll make a difference in your model railroad experience. Remember, every model train setup is unique, so feel free to experiment with all these solutions and use the one that works best for you. If you have any additional tips or tricks or anything we forgot, I'd love to hear about it below. Please leave a comment below and tell us all about it. 
If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to go to my channel and check out some more of my videos. We've got a great playlist on the world's largest model railroad museum, as well as we're doing a Tinkercad series right now. We hope you'll join us for that. If you're not already a subscriber, we want to encourage you to subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon and share this with your other modeling friends. Thank you very much for joining us today. We do hope you gain some value from this and that we help you to solve your problem. Thank you very much.